Operation Desert Storm is in progress. Though there's been no official declaration. The cost of war is real. And it is easy to give great speeches about how tough we are. But let us not forget the cost of war on the men and women who serve in our military and people in other countries. According to the Associated Press that the attack against Iraq has begun. Going off all over the country. It is my belief that a war in the Persian Gulf now, an absolutely unnecessary war, would be a terrible mistake that this country would regret for decades to come. The United States wanted to start the attack. Our operations are proceeding according to plan. It seems to me, however, that the challenge of our time is not simply to begin a war which will result in the deaths of tens and tens of thousands of people, young Americans, innocent women and children in Iraq. But the real challenge of our time is to see how you can stop aggression, how you can stop evil in a this new debate way. about attacking Iraq is in the final phase. Every day here, the U.S. presence grows. It's all circumstantial evidence. Let me thank the over 5,000 people in the state of Vermont who emailed, called, and wrote to me and said, do not support legislation that will allow the President of the United States to unleash a unilateral attack against Iraq. I have not heard any estimates of how many young American men and women might die in such a war or how many tens of thousands of women and children in Iraq might also be killed. As a caring nation, we should do everything we can to prevent the horrible suffering that a war will cause. War must be the last recourse in international relations, not the first. The attack on Iraq has Stages begun. of the disarmament of the Iraqi regime have Until begun. Until our next war, I'm John Stewart. Stewart. No outcome, but victory. So we really get to see what our training does. My view is that in terms of foreign policy, uh, regime change, without worrying about what happens the day after you get rid of the dictator, does not make a lot of sense. I voted against the war in Iraq. I'm concerned about the problems of so-called unintended consequences. Who will govern Iraq when Saddam Hussein is removed? God, I only wish that I had been successful in stopping that war, given all that has happened since with the rise of ISIS. And the so fight, forth. it is total chaos oh, over here I right am. now. I, in I the same way we're The fighting has Can started you? up again. Now, I think the president, you know, the president has been criticized. He wasn't tough like Cheney and Bush, thank God. He understands how complicated this issue is, that we need the international community, that at the end of the day, if we defeat ISIS, it will be the people in Iraq and in Syria do that with the support of the United States and with the support of the international community. Republicans in February blocked Senator Bernie Sanders' bill to provide $21 billion in medical and other benefits for veterans. If you think it's too expensive to take care of veterans, don't send them to Apparently, war. Behind the scenes, Senator Sanders was working out some sort of compromise deal with a Republican senator named John McCain. This could mean that the Republicans might actually vote for the bill. I think with Senator McCain on board, I think with a number of Republicans on board, I think we stand a very good chance of getting something significant passed. Bernie Sanders is known as a fighter, and it's been a pleasure to do combat with him. <laughs>